This incredibly complex uh, image of a Indian man looks like I spent hours with different brushes to create it. Actually, it was quite simple once I discovered the technique. And this involves a un, uh, little known um, aspect of dynamic auto painter where I was actually able to sequence different presets together. These are the steps in the process. To start with, I created several brush template files. Each of these files has to be exactly 3000 by 3000 pixels uh, divided into 300 pixels by 300 pixel squares. Um, it needs to be white on a solid black um, background and you can do this using uh, natural brushes from either Photoshop, Corel Painter, or any other uh, program that uses natural medium style brushes. Another way to do this is to use a program called G D D JPEG, which will extract uh, the JPEG files from existing DPK files. Um, likewise, you can use another program to create the color palette files, which is a PAL extractor program or PAL creator program. And this is best utilized for capturing a colored palette from an existing image into a 3000 by 3000 color grid. This is an example of one of the brush template files that I use. Um, I either created this or uh, extracted it using a DJPEG uh, so that I have a uh, template file. Um, each of these squares is exactly 300 by 300 pixels and the entire file is 3000 by 3000 pixels. I'll then be able to utilize this file as well as some other ones that I've created to create different presets. Creating your own preset is relatively simple. In Dynamic Auto Painter, you simply go to Tools and click on the Template Editor. And this gives you a blank template uh, with all the different um, areas to fill in. The best way to do it is to keep it simple. The only things that I'm really going to be changing here are the color JPEG, and the alpha JPEG bitmap files. The color JPEG refers to the color grids that we'll use to determine the palette, while the alpha JPEG determines the brush image files that we just looked at. Another thing that you want to do is basically for these we don't really want any dry reveal, so I'm going to unclick and just click only if mask. Um, and then we will go ahead and add our color JPEG and alpha JPEG files. So I've got a number of these that I have saved. And let's get some larger icons here. Here's one I just named Ballet Dancers. And then for the Alpha JPEG, come back to the brushes. And in this case, I want the one I've named Impression Brushes Low Definition. And then I will go ahead and save main template. And I'm just going to call this test sequence 1 and save it. Before I go on to create uh, more um, presets, I want to show you how to easily extract colors from an image using a little program. It's an EXE program called PAL Builder. And what I'll do is I've got a source image here with lots of different colors and I want to create a palette that captures the colors from this image. So I go in and pick my source image and then click on Calculate Palette.
and now it has gathered all the different colors from that image. Now you can fiddle with it by changing the color space from YUV to RGB and it'll create a slightly different palette. Um, or just leave it the way it is. And then go ahead and save the palette image. In this case we'll save it as just Colorado PAL and now we have another palette image that we can use for our color palettes. I'm now ready to create additional presets which I'll use in sequence. Um, it helps to name them with a common uh, denominator, in this case, uh, case uh, test sequence 1, test sequence 2, or 3, and then add the name of the brush template after it so I have some idea of uh, what the brush template is. Um, so to do that, I right click and then um, open that existing template editor. And in this case, I will leave the colors alone but what I want to do is change the alpha JPEG. So I'll come up here to my brushes and in this case use one Ejercito Now you do have to be careful here and make sure that your files are exactly 3000 by 3000. Um, sometimes I'll create some high definition ones which are 6000 by 6000. Um, if you accidentally do that you'll get an error message. So just check and make sure that the files you're using are the same size. Either 6000 by 6000 for high definition or 3000 by 3000 for low definition. So we'll pick this one and then rather than add variation to this we're going to go ahead and save men template. And just for our own uh, rem uh, ability to remember I'll just uh, put in the description of what the brush template was. And in this case, we'll name this test sequence 2 and save it. I brought up this colorful image of an Indian man, which we'll use for our demonstration uh, image. Um, I've selected the first of my sequence mix sequence one and then go to painter and change the characteristics slightly. Um, it's important to unclear both the clear canvas and real canvas and then we can go ahead and just pick one of the palettes. Um, in this case let's pick a colorful one and then we can just go ahead and start the process. And you can see it, it lays down very bold and colorful large brush strokes. We're not going to let this go very long because I want to stop it and then add a different preset to continue it. So we'll let it go to about there and stop it. Okay, then what we want to do is go back to our presets and then we'll pick our second in the sequence, although there's no particular order for this. And again, come here, make sure that clear canvas is not checked. Um, I generally leave the real canvas uh, also unchecked. Um, and then for the palette, we'll just continue with the same one and go ahead and start. Now, what it will do is instead of clearing the canvas, it'll just continue to draw with the new brush template right atop of this. And this way you get a much more varied brush strokes in the same image. And we can draw, speed it up a little bit.
and then we'll go ahead and stop this and then proceed to our next template. In this case it'll utilize the palette knife brush template. Again make sure the clear canvas and real canvases are unchecked and in this case uh, maybe we'll just pick a different color palette and start this. And you can see it's overlaying the existing image with an entirely new set of brush templates or uh, brush styles. <coughs> And I'm just going to go ahead and stop this and then add our final sequence. And this is utilizes kind of a splatter and uh, kind of a pencil stroke um, brush dial. Again, clear canvas is off and we'll pick the chalk and start this. And it gives you these hash mark kind of brush strokes. Just a little bit of an accent there. And let's go ahead and stop this. Now at this point we can go ahead and save the image here. Or we can go ahead and just add a little bit of more texture to it. So in this case I'm going to go to the layers. And... Um, I'm going to choose a texture file. And in this case, it's one called uh, Luigi Paint Strokes uh, that I think I captured from uh, one of uh, Luigi's uh, presets. And we'll set that from normal to soft light. Um, it's kind of hard to see until we uh, um, zoom in on this, but I'll go ahead and apply that to the painting. And then zoom it out. And you can see it's actually added those beautiful textures to the final painting. And then let's go ahead and save this. And you now have a very bold stroke painting that would have been very difficult to create just by hand. 